Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Here's the fun geometry problem. Three circles of equal size are placed in a triangular shape and they are pairwise tangent. An elastic band is placed around the three circles. The height from the top of the top circle to the bottom of the bottom two circles is exactly two meters. The question is what is the length of the elastic band? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So here's how we'll solve the problem. We will first solve for the length of the radius of each circle, and then we will get an expression for the length of the elastic band in terms of r. To get started, construct the center of each circle. Then connect the centers of the circles. This will form the shape of an equilateral triangle. Construct a radius from the top of the top circle to its center. Then drop this down to an altitude of the equilateral triangle and extend it down to the bottom horizontal line segment. Now suppose each circle has a radius that's equal to r. Then each side of the equilateral triangle will have a side length that's equal to 2r. This length will also be equal to r. Now here we have half of an equilateral triangle. So one angle will be 60 degrees, the other angle will be 30 degrees, and we have a special 30, 60, 90 right triangle. So the length of the longer leg will be equal to r root three. So we've now calculated the distance from the top to the bottom will be equal to r plus r root three plus r and we were given this is equal to two meters. We can simplify this equation to get r multiplied by two plus root three is equal to two, and that means r is equal to two divided by two plus root three. So we solve for r. We will now form an expression for the length of the elastic band in terms of r. To do that, we'll calculate the lengths of the straight line segments of the elastic band and the curved portions of the elastic band. So first let's do the straight line segments. So first construct this radius, which will be tangent to the straight line segment of the elastic band. Do the same thing for the other side. We now have a rectangle for this side of the equilateral triangle. We can do the same thing for the other two sides of the equilateral triangle. Now each angle in a rectangle is equal to 90 degrees. So we have 90 degrees here and here. Now, if we go all the way around, we have 360 degrees for the circle. So we can subtract 90 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees to be left with 120 degrees. This will be true for the other two central angles as well. So now let's calculate the straight line segments of the elastic band. Each side of the equilateral triangle has a length equal to 2r, and if we extend this out, we see that these line segments are each equal to 2r. We now need to calculate the length of the curved portion, which will be the length of a circular arc. So here we have a circular sector. The same thing is true over here and also here. So the length of each of these circular arcs will be one third of the entire circle because we have a central angle of 120 degrees, which is one third of 360 degrees. So each of these circular arcs will be one third of the circumference, which will be one third of two pi r. So we'll have the same length for all three of these. We now have an expression for the length of the elastic band in terms of r. So we'll just add up all of these lengths. We have 2r plus 2r plus 2r plus 2 pi r over 3 plus 2 pi r over 3 plus 2 pi r over 3. This will be r multiplied by 6 plus 2 pi. But we know that r is equal to 2 divided by 2 plus root 3. So substituting in, and simplifying, we get 12 plus 4 pi all over 2 plus root 3, and this is approximately equal to 6.58 meters. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.